Hello, this is part two of my Lisbon video. This is my fourth day here in this beautiful city in Portugal. And today I am on a mission to visit a place called Geronimo Monastery. That's where the tomb of Vasco da Gama is uh, there, is located there. That's the Portuguese, the first Portuguese that landed in India. And it is just a few steps away from another beautiful destination. And that is the monument to the discoveries. And that building, huge building, commemorates the 500th anniversary of uh, Henry, the navigator who sailed to explore the world. And then after I visit those two places, I will walk all the way to Berlin Tower. That's another beautiful destination in this uh, district. And in part one of uh, my uh, Lisbon series, I visited Alfama district, uh, Baisha also, and, uh, and other districts. You can watch that video if you're interested. So now let's go, go inside that beautiful building and uh, see what it is all about. Right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning and they just opened. As you can see, the line is already uh, big because it's, uh, this site is one of the most popular sites to visit here in Lisbon. So if you're planning to visit the site, show up early, I would say around 9.30 a.m. just to be the first person in line if it's, if it's possible. Because I, I show up at 10 o'clock a.m. and the line is already huge. I was expecting to be uh, the first person in line, but that's not the case. But we will see. See, this line is only for people who already have a ticket. If you don't have a ticket, you need to go all the way to that office, buy a ticket, and then come here and wait in this line. Look at the, how big the, uh, the line is. Unbelievable. It's huge. It's quite spectacular. It really is. I just got out of the monastery and it turned out that there is another line for the church where the tomb of uh, Vasco da Gama is located so here it um, here is how it works I bought a ticket for 10 euros to get inside the monastery on that um, building the one that you just uh, saw but when you exit and you want to enter the church you have to wait in another line 
and that line is this one so that means I have to wait for another 45 minutes just to uh, just to enter the church and by the way to enter the church is free you don't have to pay any fee if you don't like what you saw in that monastery the one that I just show you inside the building you don't have to pay the ticket just uh, wait in line just to get in into the church for free if you are interested in uh, seeing the tomb of Vasco de Gama the the first Portuguese that landed in India and we will go now and uh, see see it just got out the church and the monastery and there is an, a, a nice cafeteria it's very famous here I'm not sure if I'm gonna go there and eat because I, I'm not that hungry but I said why not just stop by and check it out before I leave uh, this area because next I'm gonna go to the monument to the discovery building which is not that far it's like a few minute walk from where I am located but I just want to see what that cafe is all about I would be remiss if I uh, came all the way here and uh, not uh, visit this uh, this place but because it's so famous I'm sure that it's gonna be a, another line a big line to uh, to get in and this is the uh, oh boy so crowded you gotta be very careful because a lot of uh, pickpockets over here in Lisbon and where is that place I think I think it's uh, it's this one. This is the name of it, right there. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I'm not gonna get it right. But as you can see, it's so it's so uh, it's so crowded. Basically, they, they they sell cakes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, next I'm gonna go to the monument to the discovery and it's just a few minutes walk from here so we will go there and, uh, and in case if you're visiting this area I would suggest that if you come in early in the morning before the monastery uh, opens just come here get some uh, breakfast and find your way to the uh, monastery that's what I would suggest I found my way to the monument to the discoveries here and this is one of the most famous sites here in Lisbon it celebrates the Portuguese age of discovery during the uh, 15th and 16th century and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to go all the way up as you can see there is um, an opportunity to capture a nice view from over there and that's what I'm gonna do and you can see this beautiful statues the one on the front sitting there that is Henry the navigator the person 
who sailed from this particular site to explore the world and uh, this building commemorates the 500 anniversaries of of him Henry the navigator so let's go now go all the way up and the reason why I'm trying to go up because there is a beautiful map that you will see soon printed on the floor but you will you will get a better view of it if you go all the way up and here is a beautiful bridge that looks to me like the one in uh, San Francisco the golden uh, golden bridge it looks so beautiful to me it, it takes you to the other uh, across the uh, the river and this is Tagos Tagos River and after this destination there is another beautiful uh, tower called Belém Tower which is about 15 minutes uh, walk from where I am located and the monastery that you saw earlier it's just over there right there behind me it's about a few minute walk I would say five minutes walk from where I am located and forgive me that the weather it's windy right now the sound quality might not be that perfect because I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to avoid the wind but there is no way to avoid it because I am in a, a big open area as you can see and it's a little bit windy and a little bit chilly too so let's go now and uh, all the way up and uh, see what that what this place is uh, all about to the top of the building I took the elevator and you see right there the map of the world right there printed on the floor all the way down and earlier I was there that is the monastery that you saw at the beginning of uh, this uh, video and you can see the view of uh, Alfama district right there if you watch my uh, part one of Lisbon video I, I explored that area and that is uh, a beautiful uh, bridge right there that looks like uh, looks like the golden bridge in San Francisco and let's see over there is uh, the Lynn Tower and that is where I'm gonna go next and it's about 15 minutes walk from here you can walk along the river Tagus River right there and that will be my next uh, destination it's really really beautiful so I would suggest if you come all the way here don't forget to take the elevator to go all the way up on the sixth floor to enjoy this uh, beautiful uh, view and today happens to be very very wonderful uh, weather sunny weather it does not get better than this I'm walking toward this beautiful tower called the Lim Tower right there and I'm gonna try to see if I can also go all the way up I think there is a way to go all the way up we will see so I came from the, uh, the Discovery Monument that you saw earlier and it's about 10 minutes walk from uh, from here it's not uh, it's not that far so all those sites that you saw today are within walking distance so you don't need to uh, to worry about transportation uh, uh, problem but if you're staying in uh, in Lisbon center if you're staying in Baisha or Alfama or uh, Bairro Alto or Chiado you will need to take a taxi or uh, or a bus or a tram or something like that because it's too far from the uh, from Lisbon uh, center so let's go now and see 
explore this uh, historic site. This was built to defend Lisbon back in the days and then it was transfer, transformed into a, a lighthouse and then customs center and now it's a tourist uh, destination open to the public and it's built it was built on a small island actually it's not on uh, Cagos River it's, it's an island small island and there is a bridge to get to get to it right there I hope the line is not that big there is a guy that uh, checks for the ticket I'm not sure where I buy a ticket I am on my way to get in and by the way you have to buy a ticket before you uh, start lining up and the ticket office is all the way back over there so just keep that in mind Next, I will go to a place called LX Factory, which is not that far from here. It's about five minutes uh, taxi ride from, from where I am right now. Alright, this is LX Factory. It's called LX Factory over there. And I think it's an outdoor shopping mall, if I'm not mistaken. And I took a taxi from uh, Berlin Tower. It was about five minute uh, taxi ride. So this will be probably my final destination in this uh, district. I'll check it out and see what kind of uh, stuff they have. I think. I think it's a food court. 